Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, I am Harsham Ali Khan. So now I am going to start short revision videos. I got many suggestions, many requests from my students to make short theory videos on different subjects so that they can revise those concepts just before examination. So now I have decided to start with the subject cost accounting. So these videos will be very much helpful before examination to revise all the topics which you are already aware, which you have already watched the earlier detailed videos. Now watch these videos, definitely you will get a lot of confidence on the topic, on the concepts. So now I am going to start the first video on the subject cost accounting. So in this video, I'm going to explain you the meaning of the term cost accounting and what are the objectives of cost accounting and what are the functions of cost accounting. So before starting this video, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, first of all, we will begin with the uh, topic accounting. Accounting is the art and science of recording the transactions and events in the books of accounts systematically so that this accounting will be helpful to a number of users. They will form the judgment. They will take the decisions on the basis of these accounts. So accounting have different branches, financial accounting, cost accounting, management accounting. Financial accounting is concerned only with preparation of profit and loss account and balance sheet. That is income statement and statement of financial position. That is the purpose of keeping the financial accounting. Cost accounting is that branch of accounting which is concerned with ascertainment of cost and control of cost. And management accounting is concerned with the processing the information from cost accounting, financial accounting and supplying this information to the management so that management can be able to take the prudent decisions. But first of all, I'll explain you about accounting. Generally, what is the meaning of the term accounting? Accounting is the science of recording, classif recording and classifying. So first of all, whatever transactions and events are happening in the business that should be properly recorded and classified, primarily of financial character. Mainly recording will be done only of those events and transactions which are in financial character, that means monetary character, and art of making significant summaries, analysis and interpretation. So accounting also means it is an art of analyze, summarizing, analyzing and interpretation of those transactions and events and communicating this information to the concerned parties so that the user can be able to form judgment, they can be able to take the decision. So this is the complete meaning of the term accounting. Accounting is the art of recording and classifying of transactions and events of primarily of financial character and the art of making summaries, analysis and interpretation of those transactions and events and communicating this information to the concerned parties so that the concerned parties can be able to take decisions and form judgments. Now cost accounting. Now we will focus on cost accounting. This is the general meaning of accounting. A cost accounting deals with classification, computation and analysis of cost on different basis. So mainly cost accounting is concerned with classification, computation and analysis of cost. Cost means the expenditure incurred in producing the goods or supplying the services, providing useful information to managers, employees, government and other users. Nowadays so many users are there. So we will record the cost, we will classify the cost, we will analyze the cost and provide the information to different parties so that they can be able to take the decision. Now what do you mean by cost? Cost is the amount of expenditure actual or notional on or attributable to a given thing. Simply cost means the expenditure incurred whether it is actual or notional which is attributable in producing a particular thing, particular product. 
then costing costing is the technical process of ascertaining the cost so costing the i mean the scope is very narrow costing means simply finding out the cost process of ascertaining the cost calculating the cost now cost accounting is the process of accounting for cost this is the accounting mainly to ascertain the cost from the point of view at which expenditure is incurred or committed to the establishment of its ultimate relationship with cost unit and cost center so ultimately we have to attribute the cost to a particular cost unit or cost center so what is cost accounting it is the process of recording classifying the cost committed in order to produce the goods and make the relationship of the cost with the cost unit or cost center then cost accountancy has been defined as the application of cost and the cost accounting principles the cost accountancy is a very wide concept it includes costing and also cost accounting principles methods and techniques to the science art and practice of cost control and ascertainment of profitability as well as presentation of information for the purpose of managerial decision making so this is the complete definition of cost accounting it means costing and cost accounting principles techniques which are applied in order to ascertain the cost why we uh, ascertain the cost in order to find out the profitability and lastly cost accounting is the classifying recording and appropriate allocation of expenditure for the determination of cost of products or services see every business wants to find out how much is the cost incurred in order to produce the goods or to provide the service so this cost accounting is very helpful in recording classifying the expenditure incurred on different products in order to ascertain the cost of production so finally thus cost accounting is the formal system of accounting for cost we are accounting mainly for the purpose of ascertaining cost of manufacture and other activities such that necessary information on cost is available so always the management will be on hand how much is the cost incurred in order to produce the goods this is the complete meaning of the term cost accounting now the second topic i am going to discuss is about objectives of cost accounting why this cost accounting subject is there why this field of study is there so many objectives are there for cost accounting the first objective is to ascertain the cost per unit every business organization wants to find out what is the cost per unit of goods produced and also provide service so without ascertaining the cost they cannot fix the selling price to maintain systematic record of cost incurred by analyzing classifying cost information <clears throat> the total cost will not serve the purpose the cost has to be divided analyzed how much expenditure incurred on material how much labor how much overhead this type of classification is necessary in order to control the cost so the objective of cost accounting is to analyze systematically analyze the total cost third one to provide necessary information which will be helpful to the management in fixing the selling price how to fix the selling price only after ascertaining the cost the management can be able to fix the selling price without ascertaining the cost without knowing the cost the management cannot be able to fix the selling price fourth one to point out how wastage of time money or resources are there in the production process there is a possibility that there is a wastage of material wastage of time wastage of machinery wastage of resources so if we implement this cost accounting we can be able to locate identify where there is a wastage of material or time or resources etc to exercise control over stock of raw material we have different stock stock of raw material stock of work in progress the management must control this stock otherwise what will happen money will be blocked in the stock interest charges will increase 
profitability will come down. So money saved is money earned. So management must try to save the money. How unnecessary blockage of uh, raw material stock or work in progress stock should not be. We should keep only that much stock of metal which is required. We should invest only that much which is necessary for work in progress. For that purpose, cost accounting is required. Next one is to supply classified cost data for management decision making process regarding contraction activities. See, management has to take a number of decisions regarding expansion of the business, contraction of the business, make or buy decisions. All these type of decisions require cost data. Without costing information, the management cannot be able to take the decisions. So it is the objective. The objective of cost accounting is to provide the information to the management. Next one, to record and report to concern manager how the actual cost compared with standard cost. Nowadays, planning will be done. That means plans will be made or budgeted data will be made regarding the future production. So whenever we have planned the activities, now we compare the planned activity with the actual activity to find out the variance. Actually, we have planned, we have expected that material cost will be 5 lakh rupees, but the actual cost comes to 6 lakh. Now the management wants to find out what are the reasons why our actual cost is more than the standard cost. So cost accounting is required to control the activities of the business. Next one, to compute profit or loss of each product department process or activity. That means every business organization wants to find out the profitability at different levels, at the departments for every product. If a business is manufacturing different products, what is the profitability on each product? What is the profitability of different departments, different processes? So in order to find out the profitability at different levels, we require cost accounting. So these are the objectives of cost accounting. Now, lastly, I'm going to explain you about functions of cost accounting. What functions this cost accounting department will perform? First of all, to calculate estimated and actual cost per unit of the product manufacture. First of all, it is a function of the cost accounting to ascertain what is the cost per unit of goods produced or services provided. Secondly, to provide necessary input that will help the management in fixing the selling price. Ultimately, the management has to fix the selling price without having the cost of production. The management cannot fix the selling price. So it is a function of the cost accounting to provide the necessary cost information to the management. management it will facilitate the management in fixing the selling price to avoid uh, to accurately analyze various components of cost see in order to control the cost we don't require the total cost we want the breakup component of cost how much cost is incurred on material how much cost is incurred on labor how much cost is incurred on overage separately if we record we can be able to analyze accurately ascertain and control fifth one uh, fourth one, to optimize various costs. The other words, we have to kept keep the cost at its minimum level. In order to increase the profitability, there are two methods. Increase the selling price or decrease the cost. Selling price we cannot increase because a lot of competition is there. If we indiscriminately increase the selling price, the demand will come down. So that's why we can control the cost. So if you want to increase the profitability, control the cost. Keep the cost at its minimum. Next one is to perform cost benefit analysis of all activities so that the organization get maximum benefit. Nowadays, this topic cost benefit analysis is being done for all the activities of the business in order to maximize the profit. So it is a function of the cost accounting to help the management in making cost benefit analysis. To calculate product level, process level, department level profitability so that management can take appropriate decisions. Actually. We have to keep, I mean, we have to produce at that level where we get maximum profit. The production should neither be high nor the production should be low. There should be a level. So management wants to find out at what level of production our profitability will be maximum. So cost accounting will help the management, should help the management in deciding what should be our production level. 
The next one to calculate losses such as wastage, a certain extent to which it is available. In the process of manufacturing, we see number of losses, wastages are there. Some are normal, some are abnormal. Normal wastage means the management cannot do anything. It is a loss to definitely it is going to occur. But abnormal wastage means controllable wastage. The management wants to, uh, management must take the decision to reduce this abnormal wastage. So until and unless cost records are kept, the management cannot be able to control the wastages. Then to install and implement cost control system. Nowadays so many cost controlling systems are there like budgetary control, standard costing etc. So if we keep cost accounting, we can be able to implement cost control techniques like budgetary control or standard costing. By using this technique, we can be able to find out what are the reason why our planned activity is different from the actual activity. Lastly, to ensure that capital is efficiently utilized. Actually, one of the main resource of the business is capital. A business will be successful only if it effectively, efficiently utilizes the capital. So one of the function of cost accounting is it will help the management. It will help the management in effectively, efficiently utilize the capital. So this is the end of this video. I have explained you about the accounting, cost accounting, objectives of accounting and functions of accounting. Very frequently in examination, this question will be asked. So if you have watched the video two, three times, definitely, confidently, you can write in examination. Inshallah, we will continue with the next new topic in the next video.